And David Hickman, Chief Operations Officer. I'm David John. I'm an actor. I play David Hickman. He is the COO for IOCOR. And they tell me that stands for Chief Operating Officer. Okay. Damien, I swear to you, would eat his own young to get out of a dangerous situation. What I see from this is, you guys don't think you're sexy. Are you sexy? It's important for you guys to look in the mirror and say, I'm sexy. I can look in the mirror and say, I'm sexy. It's very important. You get what I'm saying, Damien? Did you think about trying to attract some other customers? For example, you guys are men. And if you use the sexiness as men, who are you gonna go after? Perhaps gay couples? Gay men? You gotta think that way. You know, David, you took your shirt off, so. For the first five minutes, and, and we realized that that, that that did not work. There was something there. Here we go. Let's start with Femron. Just a little exercise. I'm an Eskimo, sell me ice. It's, I'm you, an Eskimo, this is look at the hood, look at the hood. I have some special ice. It's actually, I don't like special ice, I like natural ice. It's, you, this is actually, you think you like natural ice. I challenge you to try this ice. I don't like challenges. I'm an Eskimo, why do I need ice? Because Excellent, good, house. good, good, creativity. Good, good, good. Of course, the exercise was completely bogus and made up and quite frankly had no relevance to anything. Hello, team captain. Hello, how are you? I'm good. I'm the devil, sell me some fire. Beelzebub, you need extra fire. Don't call me Beelzebub. No, call you Beelzebub. I'm oh, sorry. You need extra fire. This is extra fire. I got all the fire, fire I need. You I don't need extra fire. You can never have enough fire because there's a lot of bad people out there. Yeah, there's bad so, people. There I go poof and there's some fire. Yeah, well, poof. I can get some extra fire for you. Hotter. I got an infinity amount of fire. You, you have it. There's always more. On something like that, there's no way you can give a good pitch. It's just not possible. Good. Damien, I didn't think they would think the fire to the devil exercise was valid, but they did it with business professionalism and, you know, whatever business people do. I'm a bee, sell me some honey. You need to use our honey, it's 100% natural. I got all the honey inside me, I'm a bee. We've got some excellent new honey, it's purified. I can produce it myself. But we can purify it for you. This is, this is I'm a bee. Soup. I saw that the guys were using their bodies to sell the soup. It was kind of like hot studs for hot soup. It looked to me like the ladies in the street were eating it up. And I'm not just talking about the soup. Based on what Jamie just said, the fact of the matter is you guys are learning to fight fire with fire. Because the fact is, you guys look fantastic in your business clothes. And believe it or not, you know, in fact, I thought they looked even classier than the ladies. No offense to the ladies, but it worked for you guys. David Hickman is a character who's just a little too excited about these fresh-faced young men. And I talked about sexuality the other night in the boardroom. You gotta have a little bit of sexuality. You know what I mean? Is that right? Is that correct in the business world? I don't know, hell. But the fact of the matter is you guys attacked it and you saw what you're up against and you went after it. And I think it proves that men can use their personal appearance to sell. I mean, look at them, they look great. You know, you can see the shape, all of it. As you know, David Hickman has a fondness for the men. In particular, there's one young businessman he's got his eye on, Damien. Excellent choice. I wanted to stare down Damien. So I stared and stared and stared at him. He looked like he was a little kid in a barber's chair, just about to go under the scissors. All right, congrats. Are you okay? Yes! Okay. Thank you. I'll see you later. Thank you, thank you, be gone. Thank you. Thank you, my beauty. David Hickman was very impressed with this particular marketing technique. Very impressed. Well, we Fergie the Frog was this large green frog costume with a big head, and I'm not sure, but the frog looked a little pregnant to me. I didn't quite understand the whole frog aspect. 
Um, here's one of the problems with the frog outfit for me. We're thinking about communication here. So I couldn't see your mouth. I think that hurt the connection with the kids. On the other side, the guy's side, Concad, I knew exactly where to focus. I could see David's mouth. I could see David move his lips constantly. I could see his face. It's like, you know, I was attracted to his lips and his mouth. Boom, right in there. My eyes were drawn to his mouth. And they had a water cooler moment, a man on man kiss. And I gotta tell you, that got my attention. For the tampons, Concat had a very interesting strategy that not only is it used as a tampon, but it will also stimulate the woman. So they sold all their tampons to men. So they weren't selling very well at the top, and they couldn't get the O2 going and the tampons going. And then, late in the day, Damien got a second win and sparked a surprise toilet paper sales rally. What? Jamie has her own thoughts on this. David has her own thoughts on this. His own thoughts. Sure. There was a lot of talk about the female anatomy going on. And David Hickman wasn't all that interested. So he decided to change the subject to one of his favorite topics, Damien. <laughs> what do you usually eat before you work out? Um, you know, I usually don't eat too much, but I don't like to eat work out full, especially if I'm doing cardio. So it looks like you have zero body fat. David seems to be more geared towards Damien. If you do a cardio workout, do you only do cardio? Hey, 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 we're talking about girls' boobs here. I don't put all my eggs. Hey, do you know if, is Mamma Mia coming to Chicago? <laughs> it was here. Speaking of, oh, it was? It was here, and oh, if it's not here now, it must be gone. It was Forget about that. I'm trying to hear about him feeling her Oh, all right. David's a little suspect. Yeah, I really wanted to see Mamma Mia. Mr. Todd's philosophy of trusting the people close to you that you don't trust, or you can't trust the people close to you that you do trust, because you don't want to have lemmings, I don't know if I get it. Me go get them now. So I take it Damien's the artist? Yeah. Da yes. I walked in to check on Concat, and I wanted to know what their philosophy was behind the artist. I mean, you modern an artist here in America, and I've had pieces of the Tate, the Guggenheim, I'll say stuff like that. His chest <laughs> can be like splattered, and this was during his turmoil of like, am I straight or gay? And I threw out the idea that Damien could possibly be a homosexual artist. I would like him to be gay. I can be, but you think people are actually going to believe this? Yes. Carrie said, you know, we're thinking about making Damien gay. And I said, absolutely you should. He should definitely be gay. Why is that? I think it's expected. Yeah? Not a chance in hell. Well, I know I'm going to sound like a broken record, but once again, I would like to single out Damien, if I could. I felt like I learned about the history of the artist Damien Scott. Two of my favorite pieces were The Angry Chair, where there are pieces thrown where you are angry at your mother, and Rescuing Beauty, where there was a man trying to find a man. And it was complicated in the middle. They were both trying to find themselves. I thought it was really terrific. I was impressed. He acted out every frame of the commercial, dramatically. Well, I felt like Concad was certainly a force to be reckoned with. Early in the day, they found a rich vein at a store called Gay Mart. And they decided to go back very wisely. The store is, the store is called... Uh, Gay Mart. Gay Mart? Gay Mart. Gay Mart. G-A-Y. Gaylord? Or Gay Just, no, Gay Mart. Gay Mart. Gay Mart. Gay Mart. Gay Mart. Yeah. Gay Mart. This? This is not David Hickman. <laughs> <laughs>